As Rakuten Ichiba marks his 25th anniversary in 2022, let's take a look back at the history of its flagship Rakuten Super Sale, now in its 10th year. Behind the system supporting this event, which regularly attracts some of the highest levels of online traffic in Japan, lies the extraordinary efforts and challenging spirits of Rakuten engineers. Rakuten Super Sale is the largest sales campaign held on Rakuten Ichiba, offering shoppers the chance to earn extra Rakuten points based on the number of stores where purchases are made. Merchants also put a great deal of effort into the event, for example, by offering featured sales items and coupons. The very first Rakuten Super Sale, held in March 2012, was limited to just one day. The event was promoted through a large-scale advertising campaign, including TV commercials, which was also a first for Rakuten Ichiba. While no one could reliably predict the scale of user access or shopping behavior in advance, the Super Sale team made sure they were as well prepared as possible. Ultimately, this debut Rakuten Super Sale exceeded an impressive 13 billion yen in GMS, but this was not achieved without encountering issues. For example, the system crashed in the first hour of the sale, resulting in hardly any purchases at first. It was originally thought that the shopping cart system would be affected by many user purchases. However, the first thing to break down was actually the coupon system. One behavior that wasn't predicted at the time was the tendency of many customers to bookmark products in advance and on the day of the sale, click on that product to look for any coupons before putting the product in the shopping cart. Such concentrated access caused the coupon system to crash almost immediately at the start of the sale. Ahead of the second Rakuten Super Sale, the front-end system managing elements such as coupons was strengthened in preparation. But this did not prevent another site crash. This time, the cause of trouble was the Rakuten ID system. In order to use coupons or bookmarks, many users had to log in at the same time which the system was unable to handle. Late at night, after consulting with merchants, the decision was taken to extend the sales period. By the time of the third super sale, the team had a firmer grasp of the steps that lead to purchases. However, removing the previous bottleneck now meant even more access to the site which resulted in another system breakdown. To resolve these issues, a special task force was established to optimize the entire system and enable it to handle the high volume of traffic for the Rakuten Super Sale. For example, the site access status for all merchants was analyzed so that engineers could manually decentralize data servers of popular stores in advance. However, such measures were not enough. To ensure the system could withstand the traffic during the sale period, there was only one way to check. Testing the system using the same traffic volume and solving issues that come up one by one in advance of the campaign. At this time, it was an almost impossible challenge to create an identical environment and traffic to simulate and test and as the usual volume of Rakuten Supercell. Through trial and error, we settled on the testing process using the actual Rakuten Ichiba environment late at night when there is least traffic. We manually created thousands of user IDs and tested each system according to the purchasing journey of customers to identify issues and vulnerabilities. Unprecedented achievement required doing things no one has ever thought of before. 
Even if the cell only lasts one day, in order to get through it without issue, it's important that our teams improve even by 1% every time. This operational capability is a pride of Rock Digital. As a result of such efforts, the Rock 10 Super Sale held in March 2013 was the first without any major shopping carts issues. And thanks to further system fortifications, during the sale to celebrate the Rock 10 Eagles Championship in 2013, where total net traffic at Rock 10 Ichiba accounted for 15% of all of Japan, the shopping cart system continued to function properly despite some temporary site access issues. Fast forward to 2019, and two days before the Rock 10 Super Sale was scheduled to start, a major bug was discovered in the server hardware. The sale could not go on without fixing this issue. Miki, Kazunori Takeda, and Yasufumi Hirai held an emergency meeting to organize the infrastructure operation and maintenance system from both internal and vendor sites, and these efforts led to a successful sale. This was also the time when the Rakuten ecosystem was rapidly growing, and Rakuten Ichiba was collaborating with an increasing number of services. It was in these circumstances that engineers focused on building a robust service foundation for Rakuten Group as a whole. Thanks to their efforts, Rakuten Ichiba continued to operate smoothly even with the increased demand for e-commerce caused by the pandemic from 2020 onwards. In 2021, Domestic e-commerce GMS increased by 10.4% year-on-year, exceeding 5 trillion yen. March 4th, 2022 at Rockton Crimson House. RNN is here to film the team of engineers on the first day of the 10th anniversary Rakuten Super Sale. In preparation for concentrated access to the site when the sale starts, the Super Sale Task Force comprised of around 300 engineers from the Technology Platforms Division, Technology Services Division, Commerce Company and Rakuten India stands by from the office or their homes. Let's have a good super sale. Congratulations for the 10th anniversary of Supercell. I'm sure everybody's ready for start and exciting for the first Supercell for 2022. So we'll do it together with all you know as a one team collaboration. Everybody, put your hand up. Ready to say? You can up. Say no. Hey, hey, oh! Hey, hey, oh! Hey, hey, oh! Okay! The Rock Super Sale has finally begun. Teams created according to different functions, such as infrastructure and apps, constantly monitor the situation. Tech leaders are also there, observing the monitors earnestly. If there's even a slight issue with the system, the engineers immediately gather to come up with a solution. The first hour of the sale has passed without incident, and the team seems relieved. We first spoke with the team in charge of the heart of the Rakuten Super Sale, the shopping cart. 
やっぱスーパーセール中はすごい戦いが高いのであの常にリアルタイムでかなり、えっとまあ、何かしらの、えっと、アラートだったりとかそれをすぐキャッチアップしてあの判断を維持してるっていう感じですねこの3か月の間に大きなシステムのマイグレーションを2つやったんですね新しいシステムがちゃんと動くかのとかそういったところのちょっと懸念はありましたそれは今回でもうまく成功できたのでうまくなと思ってます。<笑> The core architect team is responsible for monitoring the system status of all teams through dashboards and reporting any trouble immediately. Our job mainly is to, to try to identify as, as fast as possible which, which part is actually having trouble to, so we can report it and maybe that team will,、uh, will fix the problem. RNN also spoke with staff members who support the infrastructure side of the Rockton Super Sale through services such as OneCloud. The first shopping peak has passed. Thank you for asking. However, the monitoring continues in preparation for any more spikes. And once this campaign is over, The system and platforms will undergo further fine tuning ahead of the next Rockton Super Sale. We talked to a few task force members about the satisfaction that comes from supporting the Rockton Super Sale over the years. When it comes to Super Sale, it's always exciting. You know, every time we have to serve like, a massive request from numerous concurrent users at the same time. It,、uh, it's such a valuable experience for me,、mm. mentally and technically, to handle,、mm. to, to deal with such a situation. So, maybe three months before, we are,、uh, we are starting to prepare like, the system capacity needs to be okay. And we are doing some tests,、uh, for example, some tests at night, because we don't want to,、uh, to impact the client if something is wrong, right? Yeah, at that time, when we see, when we see everything okay for, for our servers and for, for all the servers together, Yeah, that's pretty satisfactory. <laughs> Yusuke Kobayashi, who currently leads the system side of Rakuten Ichiba, shared his future vision with us. Rakuten Ichiba's tech team plays a crucial role in the stability of the Rakuten Ichiba system, which handles over 60,000 merchants and 500 million items. We protect our millions of yen in sales per minute. As well as supporting the expansion and the growth of our merchants. In order to ensure further system stability, we are aiming to scale out the system in a more stable and flexible manner using solutions such as OneCloud and Rakuten's Content Delivery Network. We will also use the past 10 years of experience to further grow our developer network, nurturing the next generation of young tech members. And deploying engineers' experience in Rakuten Ichiba to other services. The Rakuten Ichiba tech community has now grown into a social infrastructure in Japan, and I believe Rakuten is the only place where you can experience the stable operation of such a huge service. I hope our tech team can appreciate how much impact our work has on society.